Hello everyone, it's Jen from Old Tinker Studio. Welcome to the fifth tutorial of the 3D Game Assets series. In this tutorial, we will be modeling low poly wooden fort assets. This tutorial series assumes that you know the basics of Blender modeling. If you are new to Blender, I would recommend viewing my Blender Basics course before beginning this series. Go ahead and change the render to Cycles. Go into Orthographic View and Front View and tab into Edit Mode. Go ahead and delete the cube and add a cylinder with 16 vertices. Scale the cylinder along the X and Y axis by 0.3 and scale it along the z-axis by 3. Add a horizontal loop cut and slide it up along the z-axis until it's about a blender unit from the top. Select your top face and merge the vertices in the center. Now go ahead and select every other vertex at the bottom of this cone shape and move them around just to give it some variety. Go ahead and select the pole make a duplicate of it and rotate it around the z-axis 30 degrees and then move it to the right make sure that they are touching then you want to repeat this process five more times until you have a total of seven poles Go ahead and select all of these poles. Duplicate them and move them to the right. Add a cube. Scale it along the y-axis, point one and along the z-axis, 0.3. Then go ahead and center the cube over these poles that we just made. And go ahead and move it up so the bottom of this cube is about two blender units from the very top of the poles. Then scale the cube along the x-axis by five. Duplicate the cube and move it down the z-axis to the very bottom of the poles. Select your leftmost pole and duplicate it. And then move it to the left. Then scale it by 1.5. Then move it up so it is even with the bottom of the rest of the poles. Then in top view, Go ahead and move it so it's midway over the cube in the front. Go 
Okay, so that's our first wall. So now we're going to make a corner wall. So select all of these cubes and the poles. Duplicate them and then just move them off to the right. Then go ahead and duplicate these poles and cubes again and rotate them around the z-axis 90 degrees. And go into top view and align them with these original poles and cubes to make a corner wall. So there's our wall and our corner wall. And now we're going to go ahead and make the gate. Add a cube and just move it off to the right. Scale the cube along the X and Y axes by 0.5 and scale along the Z axis by 4.5. Add a horizontal loop cut and move it up along the Z axis until it's about a blender unit from the very top of the cube. Select the top face of the cube and merge the vertices in the center. Add another cube scale it along the x-axis by 0.5 scale along the y-axis by 0.1 and along the z-axis by 3 and go ahead and move this plank over so it touches the pole that we just made Duplicate this plank and move it over to the right. And go ahead and grab the top face of this second plank and move it up about half of a blender unit. Go ahead and duplicate this plank and move it over to the right. Select the top face of this third plank and move it up half a blender unit. Then go ahead and duplicate this plank and move it to the right. And go ahead and select all of these pieces for our gate. Duplicate them and rotate them around the Z axis 180 degrees. And move them over to the right. Now go ahead and duplicate one of these horizontal cubes from the corner wall. Then go ahead and align it to the left side of the gate. Grab the right side face and then scale along the X axis so it fits just on the left side of the gate. Duplicate this cube and move it to the bottom of the gate. Then duplicate both of those cubes and move them over to the right side of the gate. Now 
Now we're going to go ahead and make the guard tower. Select six of these original smaller poles. Duplicate them and just move them over to the right. Select one of these square poles, duplicate it, and then align it to the left of these smaller poles. Then duplicate this larger pole and move it over to the right of these smaller poles. Go ahead and select these six smaller round poles. Duplicate them. Rotate them around the z-axis 90 degrees. And then align them to this right square pole. Duplicate these poles and then move them over to the left. Then duplicate these two square poles as well as these six poles in the center. And then move them to the back. Add a cube. And we need to center this within the boundaries of all these poles that we just made. And scale the cube along the X and Y axes by 2.9 and scale along the Z axis by 0.2. Then go ahead and move the cube so it's about two blender units from the top of the center poles. And go ahead and duplicate this cube and move it to the bottom of the poles. Now go ahead and duplicate these cubes and all of these small center poles, the rounded ones. After you duplicate them, move them up so they're sitting just a little bit above the bottom ones that we just made. Then go ahead and select the poles, the square poles that are in the corner. Scale them along the Z axis by 1.5. and then move them up so they are level with the bottom cube here. Now 
And what we need to do is select the four center poles in the back. as well as this top cube and delete them. Add another cylinder and make sure that it still has 16 vertices. Just move it to the right of the guard tower for the moment. Scale it along the X and Y axes by 0.2 and scale along the z-axis by 4. Duplicate the cylinder and move it to the right and just make sure there's about a gap of two blender units in between the two poles. Go ahead and duplicate this cylinder Rotate it around the y-axis by 90 degrees and center it horizontally between these two poles. Scale it along the x-axis by 0.25 and scale it along the y and z-axis by 0.5. Go ahead and move this first rung down till it's exceeding about half a blender unit from the very bottom. And then what we need to do is duplicate this rung up along the z-axis and separate them by about half a blender unit until you're about half a blender unit from the very top of the ladder. Now go ahead and select the entire ladder and rotate it around the x-axis by 15 degrees and then move the ladder to the back of the guard tower and put it in place. Go ahead and open up your materials tab. Make a new material and just call it dark wood. Give it a dark brown color. I'm going to use the hex code of 8F4A27. Go ahead and select the entire model and assign this dark wood color. Then make a new material and just call it light wood. I'm going to use the hex code of D48541. Then what we want to do is select the top part of the poles and assign this light color to them. The easiest way to do this is to go into top view and use your circle select.
Now what we are going to do is we are going to bake these very simple materials onto a UV map. First we're going to go ahead and select the tower and the gate. And just so we have a little bit of room to work, go ahead and move them behind these two walls. Then go ahead and split your viewport into three different sections. Change one of the sections to the node editor. And change one of the other sections to the UV editor. Now go ahead and select all of your models. Hit your space bar. And you want to look for light map pack. Check new UV map and leave everything else at its default and click OK. Click on the plus button at the bottom of the UV editor and go ahead and give this UV map a name. Leave everything else at default and click OK. Go ahead and tab into object mode and this default material, material 001, go ahead and select it and delete it. And then tab back into edit mode. Then up here in the node editor, go ahead and click on add, go to texture, and then you want to grab an image texture and just drop it in here. Then click on these little arrows and open up your UV that you just named down here. And you don't have to connect anything. Then go ahead and control C to copy this click on light wood, control V to paste it. Now under your world tab, go ahead and check ambient occlusion. This will give us just a nice range of light across the entire model. Go to your render tab and scroll all the way to the bottom where you see bake. And you can leave this as combined. You can change it to diffuse if you want to. Since this is a flat color, it really doesn't matter. Then go ahead and hit bake. Now once your baking is done, and this is very important, go to image and then save image or save as image, either one will work, and save it as a PNG file. Otherwise, once you close Blender, this will be lost. Then once you have everything baked, you can go ahead and take a look at what your result is. The reason I showed you how to do baking is because it makes it much simpler when you're taking this into a game engine or you're putting it up on Sketchfab or you want to sell the product. That way everybody will have a baked in UV. So there is our very simple low poly wooden fort assets. If you have any comments or questions or suggestions for tutorials, please leave a comment below and don't forget to like and subscribe. 
Have a good day.